Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here, and today we're going over Noco Energy Drink. This company originally started out in Sweden, but has recently expanded into the US market. And with that expansion, they decided to reach out to me and ask if I would do an honest review for them in exchange for some drinks. I told them, yeah, that's what I do. Send them on over and I'll get you an honest review. <laughs> and they got pretty beat up on their way over here. Let me take a look at this one real quick. I mean, this thing just got beat up. I'm surprised it didn't explode and go boom. Hello again, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if it's your first time here and you want to stay informed on all things caffeine related, feel free to hit the subscribe button and post new videos every Tuesday night. You can also follow me all over social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all at Caffeine Man one and in today's video, we're going over Noco Energy Drink. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the company, then go over some of the ingredients, followed up by a taste test of all four drinks that they offer. Timestamps down below so you can go where you wanna go. Noco stands for No Carbs Company, so as you can guess, no carbs. And this drink was actually developed in Sweden, where their company originated. They had launched their first product in 2014, and as of March 2019, they expanded into the US. They had opened up their first office in Venice, California, and planned to expand throughout the US throughout 2020 and further. And if you actually look at their website, they have a store locator. I love the companies that do a store locator because obviously everyone wants to know where to purchase it. Now they are primarily focused in California right now since that's where their home office is based out of, but they do have locations throughout the US sporadically in different spots. I was actually surprised to find one in Agawam, Massachusetts, which isn't too, too far from me. Probably not gonna be traveling there to get these, but it's good to know that they are sporadically throughout the country and that they're gonna be growing. So let's talk a little bit about the ingredients. Some of these drinks have some different ingredients. So I'll start off with the three that have the most common ingredients and then move on to the fourth one. And those three flavors are peach, tropical, and Caribbean. Each one of those 12 ounce cans has 180 milligrams of caffeine, which is 15 milligrams per ounce. So it should give you a decent boost, especially if you're gonna be working out. I mean, the standard in most energy drinks is 10 milligrams per ounce not including the special pre-workouts, which have gone up on their caffeine content, to usually about 200 to 300 milligrams. But this is a 12 ounce can, so the caffeine's a little bit more concentrated, and at 15 milligrams per ounce, it's close to that 18 milligrams per ounce by those bigger companies. Me personally, I like the 180 milligrams because that gives me the option to have two of these in a day if I like them enough. But, but then again, I don't use them like they're supposed to because this drink was developed to be a pre-workout drink, and obviously, I don't use them for pre-workout. I know, I'm a bad boy. But a lot of these drinks now, not everyone's drinking them for pre-workout because they taste so good. And they're healthy. So what makes this drink a pre-workout drink? Well, it's primarily the BCAAs. And they actually tell you how many BCAAs are in their drink, unlike some of those other companies. Pixie Dusters. These three cans have 3,000 milligrams of BCAAs, and it's a four to one to one ratio. Making that breakdown, 2,000 milligrams of leucine, 500 milligrams of valine, and 500 milligrams of isoleucine. These drinks also only have 12 calories, but they do give you three grams of protein, and they also have 50% of your daily value of most your B vitamins, including B6, B12, niacin, and biotin. It uses sucralose as a sweetener, and for your caffeine, it actually uses green tea extract, so it's using a natural caffeine, which will be processed a little bit slower for a longer lasting caffeine. So it sounds good so far. Let's take a look at that fourth can to see what ingredients are different. They're calling this one BCAA+, which means it's got more BCAAs in it. And this fourth one is their apple flavor. I like a good apple. So how many BCAAs are in this drink? They actually go up to 5,000 milligrams of BCAAs. They're still using the same four to one to one ratio, which means it's got 3,000 333 milligrams of leucine and 833 milligrams of isoleucine and valine. It has the same amount of B vitamins as the other drinks, as well as using sucralose for a sweetener, but it doesn't use green tea extract for its caffeine source. So instead it uses, what does it use actually? Let me grab the can. And I don't actually see the caffeine count on here, but the ingredients, Noco, no, what's my name Noco? Am I caffeine free man? No, I'm caffeine man, which means I review caffeinated products and caffeinated energy drinks. No caffeine in this bad boy. Bad Noco. 
but because it's in my hand and because it's an apple flavor and because you were nice enough to send them to me, I'll still taste it out. I didn't even review the caffeine free bangs because they're caffeine free. Who does a caffeine free energy drink? Bang. Also, this little can right here has 20 calories in it. Why the big difference in calories? Well, because BCAAs have calories in them. Duh. So let's go ahead and taste them out. I just need to grab them from the Warriors official fridge. Who are the Warriors official? The Warriors official is a new animated series on YouTube about some crime fighting droids. That's right, crime fighting droids. When their city is in trouble, it's up to this misfit group of droids to stop Blue and his gang of mannequins from committing unlawful deeds. Check out the Warriors official at the Warrior official YouTube page. I'll include a link down below so you can check out this new animated series. This animated series is a new animated series. Therefore, more videos will be coming. So feel free to hit the subscribe button to stay notified on when they post new videos. If you're a small company looking for a shout out on the Caffeine Man fridge, details in the description box down below. First up, let's start out with the apple. Get that caffeine free one out of the way first. Caffeine. What's the Caffeine Man doing? Subjecting myself to caffeine free. The things we do. Let's taste it out. And like most pre workout drinks, this is a clear color, so no artificial colors. Let's taste it out. There we go. That's actually a pretty good apple flavor. It tastes like a Granny Smith apple, which is one of the more common flavors when these companies are going for apple flavor. It's got a decent sweetness to it. It's got a medium carbonation. And overall, it's actually pretty good for a caffeine-free drink. Of course, I'm not totally against caffeine-free drinks. I just try not to review them on my channel. I drink plenty of caffeine-free stuff. But because ginger tea doesn't have any caffeine in it, unless I make it with caffeinated water, which I sometimes do, I drink a lot of tea, and there's not a lot of caffeine in tea. Still got caffeine, though. And I refuse to put this on the Caffeine Man rating chart. I'd probably give it like an eight and a half. Moving on. Next up, we are gonna do the tropical one. There's caffeine in this one and the rest of them. And tropicals have been very hit or miss with me. When it comes to tropical, there's actually several different ways that you can do it. I've been surprised by how many different kinds of tropicals there are. Let's see how they did with this one. So we got a clear drink here. And when I look at the ingredients, I found out that it actually uses beta carotene for coloring. Taste it out. All right, it's got a pretty good tropical flavor to it. I'm not getting punched in the face with a strong tropical flavor. If anything, I'd say it's got a medium tropical flavor to it. And I'm trying to pick out some of those tropically kind of flavors. When it comes to certain fruits, I'm not good at describing certain fruits. I'm not really much of a kiwi person. And there are several other exotic fruits that I haven't really had. I think some of those flavors are in here. I might be getting a hint of pineapple for that tropical, but with a little bit left, I'm gonna try and get some more flavor out of it. I would say I'm getting a little bit of pineapple out of it, maybe a little bit of orange. It definitely has a tropical feel. It's got a little bit of a citrus feel to give you a better idea of how much citrus. It's kind of like a medium citrus, so it's not overpoweringly citrusy. And I am getting a little bit of an aftertaste. I don't think it's the sucralose aftertaste. If anything, I'm picking up a hint of sparkling water from it. So if you like sparkling water, you're not really gonna mind that aftertaste too much. I'm not a fan of sparkling water, so that aftertaste bothers me a little bit. But like I said, it's very little bit of an aftertaste. Not too bad. As I said for the first one, this has a medium carbonation level to it. So if the rest of them have medium carbonation, I'm not going to focus on that. I'll just talk about the sweetness, which is a medium sweetness. And then I'll jump in to the Caffeine Man rating chart. Overall, I find it to be pretty good. I think it has a medium to light tropical flavor compared to the other tropicals that I had, but it definitely does its job in letting you know it's tropical. And I like the fact that it has a lot of BCAs in it. I like the fact that it has a lot of caffeine in it. So I think it's gonna do its job, but if I'm gonna rate it on flavor alone, I'd probably rate this about an 8.1. It's not an amazing tropical flavor, but it's definitely not bad. It's definitely pretty good at 8.1. If you're gonna be using stuff for pre-workout, you may be ranking this a little bit higher. Moving on to the next one. Next up, we're gonna be going to the Caribbean. Well, not going to the Caribbean, but we're gonna be tasting out the Caribbean. 
And I like what they did with the color of these cans. They got a nice dark blue color with a light blue on this one. And the light blue is for the flavor. The Tropical has kind of a reddish pink color on it. So it helps it stand out from a lot of the black cans that are out there. And I think with a constantly evolving market, a lot of companies are trying to get different colors on their cans, as you can see. But blue is a pretty good color to go with. Let's taste it out. And even though it's a blue color drink, they actually still went through the latest energy drink color from the beta carotene. Let's taste it out. All right, I'm definitely getting pineapple out of this one. That punch of pineapple is what you first taste. And then I'm also getting some of those tropical flavors from the previous one. So I guess it's a matter if you want a tropical location to visit on your cruise or you want to go to the Caribbean. You gotta make a choice. No matter where you go, they're both beautiful places to visit. As for the drinks, they're a little bit similar, but you definitely get the pineapple out of this. The other one tasted like it might have had a hint of pineapple and some other citrus flavors. This one, definitely got pineapple in it. I do taste another citrus in there, and I think, I think that it's grapefruit. I should check the ingredients. The ingredient, they never tell you in the ingredients what's in there, but if they're actually using any kind of juice extracts, they might tell you what's in there. Let me look. All right, we got a winner. Oh man, it's like I'm getting good at this or something. It does actually have grapefruit flavor in there and it does have artificial pineapple flavor in there as well. The grapefruit flavor says natural grapefruit flavor. The pineapple says natural and artificial pineapple flavor. So I guess they used two of them because they wanted to give you that punch of pineapple. So if you guys like pineapple, you're gonna get a good pineapple flavor out of this one with a little bit of grapefruit in there as well. The sweetness is a medium sweetness, but the citrus is a touch higher given that it's using pineapple and grapefruit and get a little bit more of that citrus punch to it. So if you like your citrus drinks and you like pineapple and grapefruit, you should try out the Caribbean by Noco. Where's it gonna be going? on the caffeine man rating chart. It still does have a hint of aftertaste to it. Even though I said the last one, the tropical had a hint of aftertaste. This is slightly less hint because that citrus is staying with you a little bit more and overpowering that sparkling flavor. And the citrus is also cutting back on that sweetness. So similar to the tropical, you got a medium sweetness and a hint of aftertaste. But with the Caribbean, that medium sweetness is cut into a little bit by the citrus and that sparkling aftertaste is cut into by the citrus. Therefore, this has a medium to high citrus flavor. And did I already, I said I was putting it on the caffeine man rating chart. Caffeine man rating chart. Give it an 8.4 for that punch of pineapple that it's putting in here. Better than the tropical. And now I want to go on a cruise to the Caribbean. I'll have to talk to my wife. My wife loves cruises. I actually hadn't been on any cruises until I met my wife. And ever since then, cruises are so easy. Once you book your trip, it's like the hotel, all your food, everything all crammed into one. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to pick up a car because everything's there. Last up on the list, we're going with some peach. Same color as the rest, let's taste it out. There you go, they did a good job. Tastes just like peach. I'm gonna say that this has a medium to medium high, much closer to the medium level of peach flavor in here. Sweetness, also a medium sweetness. It's not really going above and beyond any of the other peaches out there, but it's definitely not too light of a flavor to say, eh, this really isn't that great of a peach. It's a pretty good peach flavor. I've definitely tried a lot of peaches out there, as most of my subscribers know. I'm a big fan of peach flavors. Peach and peach mango usually rank on the top of my list and it's just a personal preference. But if someone has a good peach, they usually tend to rank a little bit higher. I also like the berries. You guys probably already know that. But for this peach flavor, like I said, there's definitely some better peaches out there, but there are definitely some worse peaches out there. So this is getting kind of a middle of the road peach flavor. It's got a medium sweetness. So if you don't like your energy drinks too sweet, some of the other peaches that I had, very, very sweet, very, very strong in peach flavor. This one, you're gonna be getting yourself a nice refreshing peach because it's medium carbonation, medium flavor, medium sweetness. I'm definitely not getting too much of that sparkling hint of aftertaste as well. I'm actually gonna finish this up to see if I can get that aftertaste.
I'm getting much more of a mango aftertaste than any kind of sparkling aftertaste. And even though it is peach, it doesn't actually have as much citrus as those other drinks had. So overall, I'm liking this because it has a little bit of a stronger flavor. It's got a good peach flavor than the others. Even though that pineapple, let me rephrase that, that pineapple had a strong pineapple flavor, medium to strong pineapple flavor. So it might have been a little bit stronger than this peach flavor. But I like this peach flavor. It's not as citrusy. Overall, it's got medium across the board, and if you're someone who likes to work out and doesn't want to have all that sweetness in your mouth and that carbonation to make you burp at the gym, you've got a good option with the NOCO. So where's it going to be going on the Caffeine Man rating chart? I'm going to give this one an 8.6. That's right. It's the best out of all four of them. In my opinion, I'm biased towards peach. If you're a pineapple person, you're probably going to like the pineapple more which kind of makes sense. I really, I really don't need to say that, obviously. If you like tropical, you'll like the tropical more. But anyway, like I said, it's got a good peach flavor. It's got an 8.6 on the rating chart. There's some peaches that rank a lot higher than that, and there are some peaches that rank lower than that. I say try it out for yourself. Check out their website, or I'll include a link down below to Amazon. We can have them delivered directly to your door, or you can buy it from them. And they do, like I said, have one of those handy dandy store locators so you can check out to see if there's one near you. There you have it. Feel free to click away now because anytime I say there you have it or that's all I got for you, people click away right away. Except some of you, a decent amount of you stay to the end because I've been feeling pressured into doing bonus outtakes at the end. But I do also like to make some announcements at the end of the video to let you know what's coming up or just some general announcements. And as I said in one of my last videos, I'm trying to get some more bonus videos to you guys. So I do have a bonus video coming up for you this week as well. I think you're gonna like it. This company seems to perform very well on my channel and it's a follow-up to one of my previous videos not too long ago. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna try and get it uploaded for you guys on Friday night. And until then, have yourselves a great day or night. Let's taste it out. What the heck? I'm in the, I'm in the middle. You think after doing this all this time and no move over. Uh, do I need to like re-record this? Uh, it means more editing. I don't know. I actually don't know what I'm going to do. It's been one of those days where nothing's been going right. I was supposed to do this video like three hours ago. One of the skylights that I had blocked off, the foam car fell down. I had to re-put that up. And then, and then just everything. Everything slowed me down. So several hours have gone by. I'm behind schedule. I'm always behind schedule. I, so I have no idea what I'm going to do. So I'm going to sit here and maybe it's going to look like I magically moved from here to here and jumped over here. And I don't know. At this point, I sometimes go with things, and hopefully you guys can forgive me. So we got a clear drink here. 